Hi, it's Lynn here with the first video tutorial for Sarah Hatton's A Day Out Blanket. And this is week one and it's called Wigshaw Lane. If you have a look at your pattern, you'll see that it's these lovely little cross stitches that have been designed over a pattern repeat of 10 rows. But the little cross stitches only really take place over one row, but you build them up over the previous three rows so I'm going to show you all the four rows that make up these little crossed stitches so the first five rows of the pattern are quite simple so I'm not going to show you those because they're just knit and purl stitches so I'm jumping to row six of the pattern I've already knitted across a little bit of the pattern here just so that it doesn't take me um, too long to show you what to do. So I'm part way through the row and I'm starting one of the pattern repeats. So starting from the asterisk, it tells me to slip one with yarn at front. So I bring my yarn to the front of my work between the needles and then I slip a stitch and slipping it purl wise. And then I'm going to take my yarn back to the back of my work so that I can knit two with yarn at back. Okay, so that's nice and easy. Then it says slip one with yarn at front again. So bring my yarn to the front, slip a stitch and then take the yarn to the back again so that I can knit the next three stitches. And although you can't see them uh, hugely, there are some little strands of yarn sitting across those slipped stitches. So I'm going to do the pattern repeat again. Bring my yarn to the front, slip a stitch with yarn at the front, take the yarn to the back, knit two stitches. Bring my yarn to the front, slip another stitch, take my yarn to the back, and then I'm going to knit those last three stitches and that takes me to the end of the row. So that's row six complete. So I'm going to turn my work and the right side is now facing me. And I'm up to row seven now in the pattern. So if you're working along with me, we're at row seven and it tells me to knit three stitches to start. So I'm going to knit those first three stitches and then it says slip one with yarn at back. So I'm just going to leave my yarn where it is, slip the next stitch, and then it tells me to knit two. So I'm going to knit the next two stitches. And this time, because the right side of the work is here and it's facing, those little strands of yarn again are sitting on the wrong side of your work. So you're not seeing them on this right side, which is what you want to happen. So I've knitted two, I'm going to slip another stitch with the yarn at the back and then I'm going to knit three. So you're slipping the same stitches that you already slipped on the previous row. So we start the pattern repeat again, slip one, keeping the yarn at the back, knit two, slip one with yarn at the back and knit three. Okay. So we're halfway across nearly. We're going to slip one with yarn at the back, knit two, slip one with yarn at back and knit three. So really we're just knitting all the stitches and when we come to those slip stitches, we're going to slip them again like we did on the previous row. But this time our yarn is staying at the back of our work. So we'll start the pattern repeat again, slip one with yarn at back, knit two, slip one with yarn at back and knit three, two, three. And we're on the final pattern repeat, slip one with yarn at the back, knit two, slip one with yarn at back and knit three. That rows a lot quicker because you're not having to bring the yarn forward all the time when you slip those stitches. So that's row seven complete. So we're building up the pattern now and we've got one more row to work before we uh, uh, swap the stitches around and create that little cross effect. So we're going back to row six because row eight says that it's as row six. So we're going to knit three one, 
two, three. Slip one with yarn at the front, so don't forget to bring your yarn forward, slip the stitch, take the yarn back and knit two. Sorry, knit three. So start the pattern repeat again, yarn forward, slip one, yarn back, knit two, yarn forward, slip one, yarn back, knit three. And those slip stitches are getting quite long now because we slip them over these three rows. Okay, so this is the fun part where we're going to create these little crossed stitches. Okay, so we're looking at row nine of the pattern. It says to knit three. So these are our first three stitches. We're just going to knit them like a regular stitch. Okay, drop the first slip stitch off the needle and leave it at the front of your work. So you're just going to let that slip stitch fall off your left hand needle. Leave it at the front of your work, don't worry it won't um, unravel or anything like that. Now we are going to slip the next two stitches onto the right hand needle. Okay. And now, so we've got one slip stitch off the needle in front of our work. We've slipped those two stitches and then we're going to let the next slip stitch fall off the needle. Okay, now we're going to put the first dropped stitch onto the left hand needle before slipping the two stitches moved onto the right hand needle back onto the left hand needle. So we're crossing all our stitches over. Then we pick up the second dropped stitch. So I'm picking it up with my right needle just because that's a bit easier and I'm just slipping it onto the left needle. So those four stitches that we just manoeuvred around are back onto the left hand needle and we're going to knit these. Okay, in the order that they're on the needle. One, two, three, four. And you can see that those elongated slipped stitches are now crossed over. We'll do that again. So the next thing is to knit three stitches and then we're up to the part where we're going to cross the stitches over. We let the next slip stitch fall off the needle. We slip two stitches to the right hand needle and let the next slip stitch fall off the needle. We slide the first stitch back onto the needle, slide those two stitches back onto the left needle, pick up that last stitch and pop it onto the left needle as well. And then we're going to knit all of those four stitches like regular stitches. Three, four, the key is to try not to twist these stitches around, just let them drop off and then pick them back up in the same way, in the same position that they were originally. So let's do that again. Knit three. Okay. Let the first slip stitch fall off the needle. It just stays at the front of your work. Slip the next two stitches to the right hand needle. Then let the next slip stitch fall off the needle. Then we pick the first slip stitch back up, slip those two stitches back to the left needle, get that last slip stitch and pop it onto the left needle as well. Then knit as normal. Knit those four stitches that you've just crossed over each other. You don't need a cable needle, the stitches won't unravel and you get that lovely crossed stitch. I'll do it one more time. Knit three. Drop the first stitch off the needle, slip the next two stitches to the right hand needle and drop the next slip stitch off the needle. Pick the first slip stitch up, slip those two stitches back to the left needle and then pop that final slip stitch back onto the left needle and then knit them all. Okay. 
and that's how you do it that's how you make those lovely crossed stitches that keep appearing like every tenth row of the pattern repeat okay i hope you enjoy that lovely stitch i'll see you soon bye bye